hunger affects working families, both rural and urban. You would be surprised how many people are affected by, by hunger in our community. There's a lot of spots tucked in down around the coast that are filled with people that are in need of food and can't feed their families for whatever reason. The reality is there's still a lot of need in Greater New Bedford. One in three kids are food insecure. Over 24% of people are living below the poverty line. Those are harsh realities that even though there's great things happening, there's still need. Many of these issues are extremely complex. So it's not just one silver bullet that's going to solve the issue. You have to attack it from, from every different angle. What makes United Way unique is that we are taking issues and we're tackling them in multiple ways. Hunger is an issue that the United Way of Greater New Bedford is extremely focused on. The Hunger Commission was started to be kind of a coordinator to get food to some of the pantries that maybe didn't have transportation, didn't have refrigeration. We still do that five days a week, but now we've really expanded that. For over 25 years, the United Way of Greater New Bedford and its Hunger Commission have led the charge in solving hunger problems in the region, supporting a network of creative, high-impact solutions. In 2006, United Way and YMCA South Coast founded Sharing the Harvest Community Farm to grow and distribute fresh produce to those in need. The farm started as a very grassroots community effort to address um, issues of hunger relief. It's all about food access and making sure it gets to the people who are in most need. Throughout the growing season, United Way's Hunger Commission delivers the farm produce to food pantries around the South Coast helping improve the offerings for nearly two dozen partners, like Damien's Place in Wareham. The United Way has been very helpful. We usually get over 800 families a month. You hear it at the window when they're checking in each time, you know, I don't know what I would do without this. So to have this as a resource for them is really important. They will come in and they'll say, I'll take anything you have, my cupboards are bare. It's sad, but it's satisfying to feel like you're helping good people. Without the kind of funding that we get, we would be lost, we wouldn't be able to be open. Volunteers, donors, and corporate partners are at the heart of every hunger program on the South Coast especially the United Way's Hunger Heroes Project, donating 1,000 Thanksgiving meals each year to local families. And the mobile market that brings fresh eggs and produce to hardworking neighborhoods in need. The mobile market was really a way for us to fill a need and fill a gap that we know was there. There were folks out there that were working and that still needed help. We couldn't do what we do if it wasn't for the support of the companies in this community. Their financial support, their volunteer support, their leadership support. It's really about the collective power of all of these things being harnessed together. Everything is expensive. Food sometimes is an issue. Here you can find some stuff that you cannot buy. They give it for free. They don't know you, but they still want to help and provide. It really helps a lot. I can see what I'm doing. I can see how I'm reaching my population here in this area. Oh, you should see their face, they're all happy. Because it's fresh products, you know. They love it. The nutrients in the good food and the healthy food, it, it really plays a big part in somebody's health. With what United Way is doing as far as giving us food and helping to provide for families, it's a blessing. It's a blessing.
United Way is committed to ending hunger and tackling Greater New Bedford's toughest problems. With your help, we can do more. Join us by giving, advocating, or volunteering. Together, we can build a better community for all.